You guys remember a few weeks ago, I made a haul video on this set right here. This is the T-Rex breakout set, a lovely Jurassic Park set that I ordered from Target the day it came out because of FOMO, which was kind of unnecessary because it's still on the shelves. But the fun thing about this set is it came to me like it came to me like this. It was all open. The tape was off of it. I have no idea what happened to it, but it is a lovely Jurassic Park set nonetheless. This video is not about that set, which I still have yet to build. It's about another set that I actually just came across in the storage room of Doom. As you can probably tell from the Brickitech Studio, it's uh, slightly more messy than it typically is because I'm doing a little bit of rearranging, a little reorganizing, a little decluttering. And I found a set back there that I wanted to share with you that I built probably like a year and a half ago. And I put it on my shelf and I'm like, I need to make a video on that. And I came across it today and it happens to be a Jurassic Park or Jurassic World set. It is this one right here. This is 75938. This is titled T-Rex versus Dino Mech Battle, which is an awesome name. And I love this set for a few reasons. First of all, this is a gift from my friend Dave. He sent this to me. And uh, I, the other thing that I love about this, other than that it was a gift, is this right here. This is the, uh, the Dino Mech. And I just think it looks awesome. I, <laughs> how cool is that? Like, you know I love mechs, first of all. But how cool is this one? I love the color scheme on it. These are stickers, by the way. I, I don't want to scare you off, but those are stickers. But I do like the color scheme. You got the dude riding inside of it right there. Let's see if I can get a little shot of him there. And then it comes with this uh, backdrop here, which is kind of like a, a lava flowing mountain. You've got a boat, a little inflatable raft of sorts. And then probably the thing that most people like from this, which is the T-Rex. This is a Jurassic World dinosaur. Everybody loves them. They're very expensive to get. But for me, like, I like this one better. I just, I don't know. I just think it looks so darn cool. There is some articulation with this, and I, I'll, I'd love to show it to you. I could probably use a tripod. Why don't I get one of those? And why don't I move the microphone around? You can tell just how high production we are here at Brickitech Studios, but I've learned that perfection gets in the way of actually doing things. There's so many videos and stuff that I need to make, but I don't make it because I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a video and it's gonna be this amazing thing. Sometimes you just need to sit down. Or if you don't have a chair, you just kind of go on your knees here and you show off what you got and the thing that you built a while back because it needs to be done. Mostly because I need the shelf that is sitting on for other things, but let me show you the articulation here as I get some lighting down here. Do you guys like these highly professional videos? I hope so. If you do, you know what to do. You don't need to tell you guys. Here is uh, the leg. Moves like that too. You can get them all splayed out here. This is gonna be a little weird. Probably not the thing you expected to see on YouTube today when you when you logged on. Do people even log on anymore? They don't. They're just, they're just there. He's got ankle. He's got toe. Toe articulation, next level, on both legs. So you can kind of get him positioned just right there. The tail, oh my gosh. Ball joints on ball joints. The double action ball joint there. Don't let Clark see this. He's going to freak out. But he probably did see this. I can't even remember who built this. I think we built this together. Is this Newman? He's unfocused. Newman! Newman! There he goes. Love it. Love it. Let's put him in there. Back from once he came. You see how that closes like that? I like it. I like this dinosaur quite a bit. I do have to get him kind of balanced out though. Get him actually standing up. Does he? Yeah, you have to almost have to have him like that. He's like going in stealth mode there. Let me see if I can move this back and still get him to stand. Probably use the tail as a little bit of a balance. Yeah. You could do it like that. I mean, whatever floats your boat. He has, also has his little dinosaur arms up here too. The little T Rex arms move around. On ball joints, mobile ball joints. Gosh, now I know why I love this thing. You guys know I love ball joints. You can move his head down too so he doesn't look so weird. And turn it to the side. Mouth opens up. He's got no teeth, but he has grills. He's got a grill. You can open and close that. I love it. I think it looks really cool. And here's the comparison with the regular dinosaur. Which one do you guys like better? Do you like the traditional or do you like the mech? Leave your vote below. That's enough blabbering on about these darn dinosaurs. Let me show you the secret here of... The mountain. I didn't even remember that this had this thing, but you can do this and treasure comes out. Isn't that cool? Look at that. That's a cool motion. Here's how it works in the back. Little behind the scenes type stuff. It's got these uh, technic things with the uh, stuff and the things and stuff. 
<laughs> moves it like that. I just think that's really cool. And the treasure presents itself to you. Let me get you guys right down there. You guys want to be right in the action, I feel like. So here we go. You ready for this? Brace yourselves. Whoosh, all that treasure right down there. I don't remember seeing this in the movie necessarily, but I won't rule it out because it may have happened. You also have Owen up here and then um, Sugar Balls. What's this girl's name again? Can't remember. My camera is really acting a fool today. But yeah, there's the treasure flopping all over the place. We lost a couple jewels in the mix there, guys. Everything fell out, but that's okay. Show you the boat once again because the coolest thing about the boat, you got the little dinosaurs. Love those little guys. They're so darn cute. And then this dude. Don't know his name either. So I'm doing a terrible job reviewing this, but that is why I don't do Lego reviews. I just build stuff. I have fun. I enjoy myself. On occasion, I clean up my space and I find stuff that I built a long time ago that I wanted to share with you and I just never did. So that's what this video is for. I hope you enjoyed checking this out with me. I'm looking forward to getting some space so I have a place for this and I have a place for this because pretty much everything I built so far this year, it's all sitting out. The globe's upstairs, thankfully. That's up there. Still have my speed champion stuff out here. All of these, oh my God, is this gonna turn into a tour? I've got to uh, put these in my three ring binder. It's They just started piling up. It's out of hand. That's still there, it has to go up on the wall. I need to make a Megazord mech, that's what it is. I need to make a Megazord mech out of that. Clark's mock table is out of freaking control. We're still working on Ninjago City Gardens. I haven't even started the thing I started this video with. I've got a cold, I've got boxes, like this is like for shipping if I ever sell anything. <sighs> it's it's bad, guys. I got a lot of work to do. I'm gonna take you to the storage room. You guys, if you made it this far, you deserve it. Oh my God. It's it's out of hand, guys. It's 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 bad. But I'm working on this. This will be much more organized next time you see it. Again, hope you guys don't mind the little cobbled together video here where I just kind of turned the camera on after I found something. I feel like this kind of stuff is fun. I like coming along with people on their journeys. I like it when the videos get personal. I don't just want to see Lego stuff. I want to know what the heck's going on in your life. I want to know what you're doing as a creator. I want to see the struggles that you are experiencing because I think we were all there. The enemies of every Lego collector. Time, money, space wives got a wife she has no problems with this other than when she can't even walk through the storage room to get through there but it is what it is that's my review of seven nine seven five nine three eight t-rex versus dino mech battle is that what it is yeah t-rex versus dino mech battle seven five nine three eight lovely set when did this come out let me tell you that too while you're clicking on all the other videos that are popping up that you would love to see from brickitect this came out in 2019, how dare you, 2019, and it sold for a whopping $90. Woo! That's an expensive set, but you got a mech, you also have an awesome T-Rex, and cool stuff along with it. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you all in the next video.